Welcome everybody to another World of Tanks replay. My name is Maxwell and this one is from the user Fantatron. I think that's correct. And he's driving the T-62A on a standard battle on Erlenberg. Tier 10 medium tank for the Russians. Counterpart to the Object 140. Has a pretty good gun. Fantastic turret armor and is all round a very, very strong tank. Fantatron going to do his best to come away with a victory on this one is a tier 10 game but there aren't that many tier 10s per side matchmaking looks fairly good only one artillery as well so hopefully should be able to get a decent game out of this one straight away going to be heading over to the right hand side spots out an m41 bulldog hits an m41 bulldog it's got a platoon mate and the t54 here as well hopefully the two of them will be able to take out this m41 bulldog it was a lovely second shot on him there. I think his track got taken out by the T-54 and Fantatron just finishes him off for a very quick 910 points of damage and first kill of the match. So the two of them pushed up very, very far in an effort to take out that M41 Bulldog, but if they're able to hold this position, it will be very strong. A little bit unlucky not to penetrate the Conway there. It looks like his counterpart in the T-54, his platoon mate, was able to. So that Conway has decided that discretion is the better part of Valor. And he just falls back. And now it's going to leave the Allies to hold this hill here. Battle doesn't look like it's going great on the left-hand side, mind. Although the Allies do outnumber the enemy tanks, they are getting pushed really, really hard. There's some very strong heavy tanks pushed all the way up to the F line there. But anyway, back to the fight on this side. Again, this is barely even as well. You have an AMX 50B in the background there, but a couple of enemy tank destroyers threatening. Fantatron going to push all the way up to the top of the hill. If you can hold the hill, then it's going to be very difficult for the enemy team to assault across the top to get at you. But with those Conways in the back there... Actually, I keep saying Conways... We've only actually spotted two of them, as there is the other one. They're in platoon, but one of them's hanging in the back, and one of them's all the way at the front. Just find a T-32, but the turret of the T-32 is probably going to keep him quite safe. Although he is taking fire from somebody. Fantatron just playing this one very, very carefully. Does find the Conway, gets a lovely shot on the top of his turret. Leaves him with just 26 health, and he decides that he has to back off now. Just firing a quick speculative shot, just in case. Want to try and get that last 26 points of health. But unable to snipe that one out. Got to be careful as the E50M still threatening on the left-hand side. But with the first Conway just down to 26 health, it's very unlikely that he's going to pop over the top and be able to do anything about this attack here. So Fantatron feels very comfortable coming forwards and assaulting around the side of the hill here. Confident that he's not really going to take any fire from that right-hand side as the two tanks that were there have been scared off. It's two very unlucky bouncers on this Knev, and the MX-50B probably going to be taken out, but no, but he gets uh, a bounce as well. Fantatron just decides to switch it up to his lower plate to take him out, and that is kill number two. Now going to move around again. He's fairly confident in the fact that he's pushed the tank destroyers and that heavy tank off the hill, so he's able to move around here without taking any fire from the front. Does take a shot from the 50M as he backs off. But again, doing early work on the tank destroyers and that T-32 in the background has assured this position is going to be fairly safe for him. None of those tanks with the hit points that they've got want to push over the top and punish Fantatron's move here. Although they do appear to still be hitting guys in the background there. And somehow the Allied team has been absolutely steamrolled on that left-hand side, despite having more tanks than the enemy team. You can see the Allies losing this one five kills to ten at the moment. Got to play this one very, very carefully now. Still got an E50M on the left-hand side. A couple of Conways and a T32 in the background. Fantatron going to move up the hill to try and catch one of them out. Got to find if one of them can make a mistake to be able to punish them for that. The Allied team, I think, knows that all they have to do is just hold... Sorry, the enemy team knows that all they have to do is hold the Allies here. And they will almost certainly be assured of victory, considering how strongly they're pushing on that left-hand side. Does get a good hit on the T-32. The E-50M's still got a lot of health. 
So he definitely has to be considered a high threat. And he's just absolutely punishing this T-32 with every single shot. Hasn't really wasted many shots in this game. Gets a beautiful hit on the T-32 there, the third one. As his gun was moving past the wreckage there. Again, just keeping an eye on this Conway. Not quite able to get the shot there, but the T-54 takes him out. And it looks like the E-50M and the T-32 are trying to make moves. To get from the very north of the map to the very south and link up with some of their allies. E-50M not looking very healthy right now. Didn't notice that Fantatron was making a move up. He does now that he's taken a hit, but he starts to fall back. Traverses his turret in a different direction. Fantatron may be able to take advantage of this one, but he's just going to allow him to back off. As he doesn't want to come all the way over the top, as they still have no idea where the majority of the team is. Still losing this one at 7 kills to 11 that they are. Only four left on the Allied team. That's the three people in this platoon and their artillery piece. And I think their artillery probably isn't long for this world. Going to move around the direction where Fantatron feels the safest, which is to the north. Going to attempt to take out the E-50M, but finds the retreating T-32 instead. It's a great hit on him to take him out. Looks like a base capture is starting now. The Tortoise is spotting everybody out. Gets a lovely shot on the Pershing. And a stay here as nobody's really spotted him out yet. And his gun is fully aimed at this Pershing who has been tracked a couple of times. One more hit will be enough to take him out. And that was a beautiful blind kill there. Still losing this one. Nine kills to 12. It's just the platoon mates left. This Tortoise is doing his best to stay alive. But he's being charged by a 215B183 now. And now Fantatron is in the sights of this Waffentrager E100. Tortoise gets absolutely obliterated for 799 damage there. Now going to have to play this one very, very carefully. It's just Fantatron on this T54 left. And last time we saw the T54, he only had 97 health. Going to have to play this one very smart and very careful if they want to walk away with the victory. There is a T-32 assaulting. Fantatron going to move across the centre here. Probably going to try and flank around the back of that Waffentrager E-100. Uh, the T-54 does get taken out. So they're now losing 10 kills to 14. Although on the plus side, Fantatron does know where all of the enemy tanks are. And they don't really have a clear idea where he is at the moment. Although he may have just been spotted by that Waffentrager. He is going to be doing the smart thing now, which is using the speed and maneuverability of a medium tank to just reposition and come at the enemy from a different flank. Actually, it looks like he's just going and hunting the artillery down. There was a clear path to go in and try and find the enemy artillery, and that is what he's going to do, and that is the smart thing right now. Hopefully he is in the standard position. It looks like he is. Takes out the artillery easy as pie. That's kill number six. Almost 6,000 points of damage. The enemy team does know where he is, but nobody's going to be able to punish him for that, considering that was the only artillery piece on the field. Now he's going to have to do the same again. Reposition and re-attack from a different location. Still got six minutes on the clock. Enemy team looking fairly healthy. Does find the Waffentrager E100. Going to try and get a shot onto him, but it looks like he's behind the house. And then the FV183. Also behind the house. But it looks like he is moving to the south. Looks like everybody is just lying in wait, playing the waiting game. The bad thing about Fantatron's position is that even though he is just one tank, I don't think the enemy team is going to assault into him. He's backing off a little bit, but it looks like his sixth sense hasn't gone off. He's going to be able to fire at this FV without him returning fire because he's not going to spot him. Either got a fast repair skill or used his repair kit to fix that track there. Baffentrigger comes around the corner. Fantatron going to try and get a shot on him. That was a beautiful...
predictive shot as he was moving there. Raffentrager not going to chance this one. He's going to stay securely behind the building. And he's had a fantastic time here getting three shots in a row onto tank destroyers. Gets another shot on the Waffentrager E100. He can't find where Fantatron is. Although he has just been spotted out by this IS-3 now. He can play it safe though. Safe in the knowledge that there is no artillery. IS-3 is assaulting towards him, but it looks like the T-32 has gone for a base capture, which is the smart thing to do. Split their efforts, and that's going to force Fantatron into one position on the map. But the problem is, nobody on the enemy team was covering the base. So if Fantatron goes to decap, the FV and the Waffentrager were far too far north. And they're not going to be able to do anything to defend their T-32, which has now been found. Fantatron firing at over 400 metres away, so it looks like this T-32 has no idea where he is. His sixth sense hasn't gone off. That one was a little bit unlucky to just go a little bit high and hit the turret. That one flied a lot more straight and a lot more true, and that takes out the T-32 for kill number seven. Seven and a half thousand 7,500 points of damage, but he still has the 183, the Waffentrager E100, and this IS-3 to deal with. Waffentrager looking fairly healthy with 1,000 health, the IS-3 at 700, and the FE at 325. The FE may be a one-shot. Average damage of this gun is 320. So as long as he rolls slightly above average, should take him out. But knowing the look when you really need it, it's probably going to get a low roll. So he can't count on the fact that he'll take him out. But he did take him out. That's kill number 8. For 8,000 points of damage. Takes a hit now from the Waffentrager. Got to get into cover. The boot is now securely on the other foot. As the Waffentrager is the one firing at Fant uh, Fantatron. Without him being able to see. Although he is now making a move. It looks like the Waffentrager is just going to try and charge him down. Because he's got the firepower and the hit points to be able to do it. But Fantatron is going to trust in his Russian medium tank. And just going to sit there. Exposing all of his side armor. Gets one good hit. But now he is just a one shot for this Waffentrager E100. He's going to have to play this one a little bit smarter. Than leaving all of his side armor exposed to a Waffentrager E100. He's trying to get into a side scraping position. Going to try and lure the Waffentrager into firing. But he does have that autoloader. Fires very, very quickly and has lots of shells. Lots and lots of potential damage. Trying to lure the Waffentrager into opening fire. A tree falls in the back, so maybe the Waffentrager's repositioning. Trying to come at him from a sharper angle. There he is. He appears on the left. That is two shots he's fired now. Fantatron going to try and lure him into firing another one. He does. Only takes out his track. Repairs his track now. Sees that the IS-3 is coming from the right-hand side. So he's got to keep behind the building. He just decides to charge forward for some reason. Looks like that Waffentrager has fallen back. So that worked out for the best in the end. Waffentrager almost certainly reloading. But with the appearance of this IS-3, he can't take advantage of the, of the reload. Comes around the side of this IS-3, but with him being more historically accurate now, that one just bounced on his side armour. Got to play this one carefully, as the IS-3 is still, if it only tier 8, it's still not a tank to be messed with lightly. Trying to use the speed to just confuse the IS-3. He is able to do that, takes him out for kill number 9. 9,000 points of damage, but he's still got a Waffen trigger, which is almost certainly fully loaded by now. Gets one shot into him. He's got to pull forward. That one, he gets out of the way. 350 hit points left. If the Waffentrager wasn't reloading, if he just sat where he was when Fantatron came forward, he would have been able to take him out a couple of minutes ago. He's playing a dangerous game here. And there we go. That is the last kill. That is the victory. 10 kills, almost 10,000 points of damage and walks away with the victory pretty much single-handedly. So awesome gameplay there from Fantatron, picking himself up a whole massive heap of damage and kills and changing a heartbreak into a carry. So thank you very much for sending that replay in. Don't forget, guys, if you've got yourself a great replay, then send that to replay at screenreality.com. Link for that's in the description. 
I've been Max Wallace, it's been a Wall of Tanks replay, and I'll catch you guys next.